All right, so what we're going to look at, we're going to break this into two parts. We have the yellow part and we have the pink part. With me so far? And then we're going to call the yellow part, we'll call it A, we'll call that B. Okay, so we're going to follow, we're going to follow the product rule. Ready? All right, so it says A. You're just going to write A as it sits. And then we're going to multiply that times the derivative of B. Okay, so B prime. So that's 2x minus 2. And then we have an addition sign that goes in between it. And then I'm going to do the derivative of A, which is 1, and then times what B is. And friends, you can honestly, I am totally fine if you leave this. This is the derivative. That's all it is. Okay. Yes, there will be other classes in the future that would probably have you foil it out and combine like terms. But as far as this class goes, you can keep the derivatives dirty. What did you guys learn? Dirty stuff in math. No? All right. We good so far? May I move on? Oh, and hey, there was a question. Is there a final in this class? Yes. Do you trust me? Hope so. Hope you trust me. All right, so in order for me to find the derivative, I'm going to go A times the derivative of B plus the derivative of A times B. Okay? So you got the pink part, you got the green part. All right, so this is part A, this is part B. So if I want to find the derivative, I write the A part just as it sits times the derivative of the B part. So that's uh, what? 48x to the fifth minus 24x to the third plus. Then I'm going to do the derivative of the A part, which is 21x to the sixth times the B part. And that's my derivative. Okay, yeah, it's sloppy, it's dirty, it's yucky. People are afraid. People are ignoring. It's like I'm talking to my wife. No one's paying attention. They just say, dude, if I was your wife's sheriff, I wouldn't pay attention to you either. Good. All right. So that's dealing with the product rule. Okay, that's when you have two quantities being multiplied together. Take the first part times the derivative of the second plus the derivative of the first times the second just as is. And that's honestly how you find the derivative. Yeah, you could find the slope of the tangent line at 1. I mean, anything if you plug anything other than 1 into that to find the slope of the tangent line, you're getting some ridiculous big numbers. It's like, what's this? What's the equation of the tangent line at 17? Okay, 17 to the, or 17 raised to the seventh power times three plus four. Mm -mm. Not this week. All right. So then we get to something called the quotient rule. Okay, quotient rule means you're dealing with a fraction. Okay, so I have the quotient rule. That's going to be, here, let's highlight this, call that. Those are my two different regions. So we'll call the top part A, we'll call the bottom part B. So the quotient rule would be B times the derivative of A minus the derivative of B times A, all divided by the denominator squared. Okay, so let's just follow along with what that, what it says. Okay, so it says b, x squared minus 1, times the derivative of a, the derivative of the top is just 1, minus the derivative of the bottom is 2x, times just the top, which is x, all divided by x squared minus 1, quantity squared. That's the derivative it's not cleaned up. It is what it is. That's all it is. 
Pretty simple, I hope. Well, hello. Sorry, I have a second chance. Oh, that other class is more important than me, huh? <laughs> I'm just joshing you. Huh? Can I sit in the spot? You can sit in the spot if you want. Okay. Well, you don't want me to sit right behind you? Gosh, no one wants to pay attention to me. You're subjected to hang out with me. All right. <clears throat> then numbers, <clears throat> number 17. Let's highlight the top and bottom. That's the bottom. That's the top. Call the top A. Call the bottom B. Quotient rule. Is going to be y prime equals the bottom times the derivative of the top minus the derivative of the bottom times the top all over the bottom squared. Okay, so let's walk through it. Ready? Y prime. B is just this. What's the derivative of the top? You want to take a shot at the green? Negative 4x. Four. Negative four Minus, what's the derivative of the bottom? Four four. Cool. And then times the top. all over the denominator squared. Done. Did I do that on the last one? Yep, I did. Cool. That's it. So, you guys play along with me? Alright. What should we give? Four more problems sound good? All right, so let's do number two, which is this. And we'll do number number five. Thank you, buddy. Five is and number fourteen. Okay, so product rule, quotient rule. So I just work on those, and, uh, and if you have questions during class, I can help you out. Let's see if you can figure them out. And again, these aren't coming out of the direct book that I gave you. Yeah. Quotient rule? Okay, yeah. So let me do the product rule first. So the product rule, quote, rule is y prime is equal to a times derivative b plus a prime times b and the quotient rule is Bless you.
that help you out? So on each of these problems, this would be A and B, A and B, A and B, A and B. That makes sense? Good enough.